Hello everyone, Crash here. Now this is just going to be a, a quick posting, a quick video, because I am confused and I am, I mean, my mind is just blown right now. Welcome to RTA Motorsports. So what happened was, uh, I've always had this issue with my RAM since I installed more RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, two cards. I bought them separately. They're both the same type of card. They're both, um, they're not, you know, anything special. They're Patriot Viper RAM cards. Um, they are 1600 uh, megahertz speed. They're, um, I believe their timings are 10, 10, 10, 27. Uh, so they're nothing too crazy. They're not like DDR4 RAM or you know, or you know G Skill or anything like that. They're they were budget RAM for my budget build. Now I bought them separately and I bought them both um, individually wrapped. It didn't say um, single channel anywhere on the packaging, but it, it wasn't a part of a kit. So I'm guessing um, that was probably the root of my problem. My motherboard is, you know, this is an AMD build. This is my budget rig. It's a um, AMD FX8350. I right now have it overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Um, my motherboard itself is the Asus uh, M5A99FX um, Pro R2.0 motherboard. Now, I remember when I first installed the RAM, um, it said, you know, keep the colors the same with the RAM card. So, you know, over here you have the first dim slot for um, the RAM card is blue and then the third one's blue the second one's black and the fourth one's black so you know you would put RAM in the first slot from the right um, which is blue and then the second RAM card in the third slot because that's the next blue um, that's how I've always thought and uh, it said you know as far as I had that usable RAM issue I went to MS config that was already unchecked. Um, I went and slowed my um, frequency down. I mean, my RAM speed down from 1600 all the way down to like 900 to you know try to get that all figured out. I had my RAM timings manually inputted. Um, I made sure my voltages were correct. So, you know, I was always trying to figure this out and trying to get it to work right. Now, I read on Linus Tech Tech. Linus Tech Tips form that someone put the RAMs, uh, the RAM cards in the next slot over. Um, what it says you shouldn't be doing in the uh, user manual for it. And no one kind of knocked him on the form for doing that. And he got it to work. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And let me show you what I mean. See what I mean there? I got both of the RAM slots um, in the first two DIMMs there. So, you know, that's something that you were always told you shouldn't be doing depending on what the manufacturer wants so I did that and it worked you know I could run this actually and now I have the RAM overclocked to 1800 megahertz and it seems to be running just fine um, I just did Firestrike, uh, Firestrike Extreme and uh, my score is 4989 um, not the best score I have ever had. I think the last one I've done that I've got a little bit higher was just over 5,000. So not far off, but um, you know, still a, a decent score f compared to where I'm normally at. I think a few months ago I did one, it was like 4,700. And you can see the score right there. It just finished. So, you know, I'm not exactly sure if what I have done is bad for the computer or what type of effects this may have. Um, everything seems to be running just fine. I'm gonna render this video and see how that works. Definitely people that have more information than I know, give me some input. I'm kind of curious, is this kind of like, you know, should I abort the mission and shut this computer off? Because <laughs> um, everything seems to be working and it's now reading 16 gigabytes of RAM. Doesn't say anything about usable, just says 16 gigabytes of RAM everywhere. Um, even in my task manager. 
Uh, let me try to pull that up. And we'll go, well, 15.9. But you can see right there, 15.9. So, I don't know. Give me your input. Tell me what, what type of effect this may have because it's not installed the way it's said to in the, in the manual. All right, well, uh, as usual, I hope everyone has a great day and definitely chime in uh, with your input. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. <music>